the interaction of the audience is what made the whole piece become exciting. It was such a pleasant, wonderful experience, and you came out feeling very light and uh, like you had gone back to being a child, I suppose. Plus, you had lost your sense of gravity, <laughs> yes. uh, and your scale had changed. I love the shirt because it reminds you of shelter. It's a doorway that you can enter into. It has a front opening and it has arms that will enwrap you, perhaps. It's a wonderful, wonderful shape for an absent human being or an absent God or an absent being, but it's very warm and benevolent. In working in the church space, I really wanted to do something that was definitely female. I know it was a crowd. It was probably too much to have in there in one space, but I wanted people to wander through. I wanted people to have the feeling of going somewhere behind something and someone on the other side of the room couldn't see you. And I also was very excited about the idea of working with projections. At some point, the church and the ladders, which were all over the place for Kate to hang things, um, they were everywhere, these gigantic ladders. And it reminded me of Moby Dick, because there's a scene at the beginning of Moby Dick of the Whalesman's Chapel or the Fisherman's Chapel, in which the priest climbs up to his pulpit by a rope ladder. And the garments were huge and white, but the other part is that Woody was helping us a lot. He is part of the Women's Studio Workshop. There was this whole beginning of working with boats that Woody brought in. He is an excellent sailor, and he was able to show me all sorts of knots that sailors use. That made it possible for us to think about viewers coming and pulling ropes and becoming sailors and then making these sails move and then the moment that these garment sails began to move they started making sounds like they were cracking in the wind. They would go louder and then they would go softer. The sound of the clothing, aka sails, aka rigging, um, and so on, worked together with Jonathan's music in a very yeah. wonderful way. And what he worked with for this project was the sound of bells, organ. He brought in some folk songs, bringing people back in. He did a little bit of heartbeat, and then psalms you know, working with things that sounded like psalms. And then what he thought about churches, especially a former church, this was a former church, that they are a repository for memories, perhaps. He wanted to bring a sense of that into his soundtrack. It was a matter of us creating these three different layers, putting them together, and then offering, this is a place that you can come into, what do you do with it? The interaction of the audience is what made the whole piece become exciting.